and be sure to leave a like and share the video around. It really helps the channel out. Enjoy. <sighs> Your Highness, forgive me. I... Uh, it's alright. I'm alright. I think... Oh. Are... Are you... Alright? Oh, thank the stars. And my apologies for startling you so. That was not my intent. Though I do suppose it was inevitable, given the, uh... Unique circumstances. Who... Who am I? Oh, yes, right, of course. <clears throat> I am Prince Cairo. I hail from the northern lands from a small kingdom very far from here. One you, uh... Probably haven't heard of. We've only recently joined the Federation. I have traveled across the continent to free the one cursed to lie in eternal slumber. That's, um, you. Yes, you, your highness, the sleeping beauty, as it were. <laughs> Look, I didn't make the name. That's just what they've taken a call in you. Honestly, I wasn't entirely certain that the story was true, and, well, yet, here you are. Real as can be. By the way, do you remember anything from before? Um, your family? Your kingdom, perhaps? You only saw them a day ago? Ah, uh, <laughs> right, right. That would make sense, then. <clears throat> and the sorcerer responsible for your imprisonment? I see. Yes, I am familiar with them. They caused major problems for the Federation for a long time. The kingdoms will be pleased to hear that that demon is no more. Do you... Do you mind if I... Um, may I sit with you for a moment? Just there, at the end of your bed. I do not wish to impose, but, well, it wasn't easy getting up here, if my tattered clothing is any indication. Thank you. Yes, that is blood. A fair bit of it, too. Not all mine, I assure you. Your captor put up quite the fight, even in their advanced age. Then there was the insane amount of thorny vines surrounding the castle, and... Well, you know what? Never mind. You don't have to worry about any of that. Are you... That is, how do you feel, your highness? Good. I am relieved to hear that. Honestly, you seem little worse for wear given what you've been through. Your complexion has a healthy, rosy hue. Even your hair looks as if you've only brushed it mere moments ago. And your eyes, bright and inquisitive, you simply look well-rested. I suppose anyone who slept for a hundred years would. Oh, yes, that's right. You've become quite a legend, as I alluded to before, I know I'm not the first to... Wait, your highness. Careful! Oh, your legs. Just... Hold on to me a moment. I know. I didn't mean... <sighs> Please, your highness. I spoke without thinking. But indeed you are safe now. The one who cursed you is dead and gone. They are never coming back. They can no longer harm you. 
I do apologize for my callousness before, but yes, it is true. It has been at least a hundred years since the sorcerer's curse on you was fulfilled. As I understand, it had some things to do with your eighteenth birthday. I see. I cannot begin to imagine how this must feel. As amends for causing you further distress, please allow me to return you safely to your kingdom. Oh, then I am yours to command. True, it is highly unlikely that people you once knew are still alive. <sighs> Stars, this must be so difficult for you. You're right. Sleeping forever doesn't sound like a great way to live out one's life. In that case, I am privileged to have been the one to awaken you, your highness. H how did I wake you? <clears throat> ah, yes. Well, according to the legend, only a kiss from one of the purest intent will awaken them from slumber. And I suppose that I fit the bill, then. Yes, I, um, did kiss you, your highness. I hope that you would forgive such an overstep. Not the most gentlemanly of behaviors, taking a kiss without permission. However, you are free of the curse, and may resume your life as you see fit. I would be honored to help you however I can. What's in it for me? Your Highness, I take offense to that. I ask for nothing, truly. Why? You were a prisoner of a horrible fate. When I first heard your story, I was but a young boy. I vowed that someday I'd be the one to find you. And I know what it's like to be... <clears throat> I only wanted to free you. Your Highness, nothing more. Forgive me, I'm rambling on instead of seeing to your needs. Here, take my cloak. I insist, you must be freezing. Pull it tight around your shoulders. The clasp, yes. There. Better? Good. Hmm, the window. Of course. Here, let me help you. Yes, just lean on me. I've got you, your highness. Slow steps. Yes, it's autumn now. What was the last season you remembered before all of this? Ah. Uh. Yes, it must be strange to wake up to an entirely different season on top of everything else. Your Highness, you're shivering. Yes, you are. Come, there are more comfortable chambers elsewhere in this castle. I stumbled upon a few as I searched for you. Far better than this drafty tower. Perhaps I could scrounge up some food as well. There's bound to be something left in this forsaken place. Good. Just hold on to my arm. The stairs down are quite steep. I do suppose I was a bit too optimistic about the food. They left nothing behind. Ugh. Probably would have been poisoned or something anyway. Luckily, I do have some rations left. It isn't much. Certainly not to someone of your standards, I'd imagine. But I hope it brings you some small comfort. Well, that's kind of you to say. Go on. Eat as much as you'd like. Are you warmer now, your highness? I'm glad to hear it. We could almost call it cozy. 
ignoring the creepy decor. They really had a thing for skulls, huh? Seriously, it's like they're all looking right at us. Yes, literally every room save for your tower is filled with skulls and bones, and other rather dreadful things that I won't repeat. This was the, uh, mildest of the horrors I saw. Yes, they are truly gone. I know, I was a bit stunned myself. Facing a dragon the size of a mountain isn't a sure thing, if you understand my meaning. No, the dragon was them, the sorcerer. Utterly terrifying. Well, yes, wouldn't you be? <laughs> I don't need to prove anything, your highness. I was scared shitless, pardon my vulgarity, but I keep thinking of all the cruel things that sorcerer did to our kingdoms over the years. And then you, trapped in the highest reaches of this awful place, an innocent victim of their malice and spite. Sorry, there I go again, rambling on. You really are too kind. I will talk with you as much as you'd like. <clears throat> I have to say, your highness, you are taking this with remarkable calm. That's a good way to think about it. No, I... well, truth be told, I had no intention of returning to my kingdom. I wasn't exactly sure of what I'd find when I arrived here. And then, facing the sorcerer's magic, I questioned whether I'd survive. But, I was okay with it, you know. If that was meant to be my fate, then so be it. Luckily for both of us, though, that didn't happen. Oh, my liege, it is alright. Do not apologize. Shh, shh, it's alright. Here, let me... Oh. There, um, sure, of course. You may use my shoulder as long as it pleases you. Let your tears go, your highness. There's no one else here but me. I understand. If I could turn back time for you, I would. Unfortunately, that is beyond my capability. Your mother and father loved you deeply. I'm sure of it. They are the reason that your story is known throughout the land, and they would have been overjoyed that their beloved child was finally free. Your fault? No, 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 my dear. That sorcerer was a cunning master of manipulation. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Besides, you survived, and they didn't. I suppose, in the end... You were ultimately their undoing. Well, I only woke you. Ah, uh, well, yes, I suppose I did vanquish them too. But you, you survived all these years. That's incredible. I hope, that is, I would love to hear about your life before all of this sometime. After all... It is an everyday that one meets someone from the literal past. Of course, only if you wish. I apologize if that was too forward. For now, I will serve you however you need me. Whether it be a shoulder to cry upon or a hand to guide you, please only speak the words and I will do it. Then take as long as you need, your highness. I have no plans to leave you, unless you command it. My duty to you runs only so long as you will it. That's right. I am unfortunately familiar with having no one to turn to in a time of great need. I will not allow that to happen to you now. No need to thank me. And if I may say... Though we have only just met, 
I can see that you are resilient and strong of heart. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. False platitudes are not something I typically employ. Well, I am not like the other members of the nobility. But that's a story for another day, perhaps. Would you care to finish your meal? Very well. I will save the rest for later. We are only a few days' ride from your kingdom. My horse, stars willing, he is all right, should be waiting for us in the woods just beyond the castle grounds. When you feel ready, I would be more than happy to set out with you. At the least, just to leave this horrid place. There are still villages in the surrounding area, yes. I am certain that we would find more suitable lodging. Your Highness, what are... Uh, now we're even. <laughs> Seems we are. I just did not expect that. I'm flushed? Well, you did kiss my cheek after all. Somehow, though, it has revitalized me. As if the horrors of the past, they never occurred. I feel as though I can walk a thousand miles on my own two feet just to bring you home. You don't... You don't want to go back? I understand that, but... I'm certain that they would welcome you back. Of course, you're not wrong. It is very possible that they will not believe you are who you say you are. Especially if no one alive can verify it. In my word, the word of a stranger from another kingdom may fall equally on skeptical ears. I understand your hesitation. So then, what do you suggest? What do you want? Ah, that is a wonderful idea. <laughs> yes, of course. I would be honored to explore the continent with you. I didn't realize you had never left your own kingdom before. Was this something that you wished to do? I mean, before the curse. Then that is what we will do. <laughs> it is rather exciting, not knowing where we might end up. Yes, your highness. What a thoughtful sentiment. It doesn't really matter, so long as we have one another. My cheeks? Again? <laughs> uh, now don't you worry about such things, your highness. I simply can't help but be warmed by your graceful presence and your infectious optimism. Anyway, on your command, we shall leave this place. Wonderful. I tire of it too. Let's go. Hello everyone, it's Brent Skyrun. Thank you all so, so much for listening to yet another one of my audios. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and comment your favorite part or what you want to hear from me next. Special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Minowin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and Anna Adventurer. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me, be you patron or not. If you're interested in getting not safe for work extras or even audios early, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.